Okay, geometry, chapter one, section three, distance and midpoints. In the last couple of se or in the last section, we uh, we got out the ruler and we measured in centimeters, millimeters, uh, inches, measured different distances. Now uh, we're going to look at some things that we can't put a ruler on, and things that we might need to find the distance. Uh, but again, we can't just break out the ruler and do that. And so I'm going to start with a number line. So there's my number line. I know I kind of cheated and I put that on pause. Feel free to put it on pause and, and make sure that you fill yours in as we go along. We just got a standard number line from negative 10 to 10. And we've got six different points, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So I'm going to ask you to find the distance from B to E. And it's going to be represented as line segment BE. Now, even though we go from um, we go from a negative to a positive, quite simply we can just take the distance from negative 6 to 0 is going to be 6 spaces and the distance from 0 to 2 is going to be 2 spaces. So I know that my distance is 8 spaces. That's the easiest way to do that. In the book it uses a um, an absolute value. We know that distance is going to be positive. Uh, we've talked about absolute value in Algebra 1, but I just go distance to 0 for one of them, distance to 0 for the second one, and then I put those two things together. So if I asked you to find out what AF was, Okay, go ahead and pause the video and find out what AF is, and then we'll come back and see if you got it correct. So the distance from A to 0 is going to be 7 spaces. The distance from 0 to F is going to be 5 spaces. So that's going to give me a total distance of 12 spaces. Okay, again, distance is always positive. It cannot be negative. So now let's take it one step further and let's go to a coordinate plane. And so here's my coordinate plane and I'm going to have coordinates of negative 4, negative 6, negative 4, negative 6, and my second coordinate is going to be 5, negative 1. And so this is a line segment. I don't like that one. Boy, I'm off today. There we go. Not a huge fan of that one either. Sorry, guys. Okay. I feel a lot better about that one. And so I'm going to go over here and write the coordinates. My C is negative 4, negative 6. And D is 5, negative 1. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, well, do I need to do this on graph paper? Just sketch it in your notes for now. You won't even need to use the graph paper to find the distance because there is a distance formula. And that formula is this. Distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. That is the x value of my second coordinate. So I'm just going to go and label these real quick. There's my first coordinate. There's my second coordinate. And to find the distance, now I'm just going to substitute values in. The x value of my second coordinate is 5. I'm going to subtract the value of my first x coordinate, which is negative 4. Okay. 
going to square all of that plus my y coordinate of my second point is negative 1 and my y coordinate of my first point is negative 6. Let me extend that out there. I know it looks crazy. So let's go, let me scroll down a little bit. Clean it up a little. I have my big square root sign. Minus a minus is plus, so that's going to be 5 plus 4. So that's going to give me 9, and then I square that. Negative 1 minus a negative 6 is going to be negative 1 plus 6, which is 5. And I'm going to square that. So that's going to be the square root of 81 plus 25, which is the square root of 106. The square root of 106 comes out to be approximately, that's squiggly equal signs, approximately 10.3. I would accept either answer, square root of 106 or approximately 10.3. Don't put exactly 10.3 because uh, you would have to round that and it's not going to be exact. Okay, let's take a look at midpoints now. Let's take our same number line that we had from before. And let's say A is at negative 8 and B is at 6. And we want to find the midpoint of AB. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find the distance of AB just like we did before. A to 0 is 8 spaces. 0 to B is 6 spaces. So that gives me a total of 14 spaces. If I want to find the midpoint, if I want to find the middle of anything, I cut it in half. And so I'm going to divide that 14 by 2, which means my midpoint is 7 spaces away excuse me, seven spaces from A or B. Again, it should be the same. So if I go seven spaces away from A, that's going to be right there. Seven spaces away from B should also be the same. And so that is my midpoint at negative 1. So what if it's on a coordinate plane? Let's say I have negative 2, 4 and 5, 0. The midpoint on a coordinate plane is adding the x values together and dividing by 2. That's going to give me the x-coordinate of the midpoint. And then, obviously, it's going to be the same equation or formula, just using y's for the y-coordinate. So I'm going to take my two x-values. I've got negative 2 plus 5. I'm going to divide that by 2. Then I'm going to take my y-coordinates, which are 4 and 0, and I'm going to divide that by 2. Negative 2 plus 5 is going to be 3, 
So my x coordinate is, unfortunately, it's a fraction, but it comes out that way sometimes. Uh, so that's going to be 3 halves, which is 1 and a half. And then 4 plus 0 divided by 2, that's going to give me a coordinate of 2. So if I did need to graph it, I can go back over here, and I could go to 1 and a half, 2, which is right about there. And that would be my midpoint of that line, that line segment, excuse me. Okay, we are going to do some constructions in class. So when you bring your, when you come into class tomorrow, you need to bring your compass. So tomorrow you're going to need compass, obviously your notebook. and all of your other just write you out a nice little reminder compass in classroom tomorrow we're going to do some constructions and it's going to be amazing fun see you then